Hi, I'm Chris uh, from NG Media. I'm the general manager and wanting just to briefly tell you a little bit about what we're up to in 2012 and what we've accomplished. Um, so far this year, we've increased our Arnanu staff from 12 to 17 and are looking at over the next couple of months employing another five Arnanu staff, which is very exciting for us to continue to work with Arnanu in a way that sees them trained and able to produce and manage and present themselves and their own stories in a dynamic way. I'm Safia Desai and I'm the radio trainer and coordinator at NG Media. Hi, my name is Nolene Peterman and I work at the media. Mm -hmm. NG Media Radio Report. We've been very busy doing different and exciting projects this year. Uh, our first one has been the Warburton Mission. We've been busy researching, planning and applying for funding. This is going to be a big project for the radio team and will involve many young and new people across the lands. We will continue to update you on this project. The next project is Otitis Media. Um, this is another big project for radio. We've been busy scripting, recording and editing Otitis Media uh, stories, uh, community service announcements and stings. Otitis Media is a middle ear infection and this is quite prevalent in young and new children. This is a campaign to increase awareness and inform young and new about the impact the infection has on infants and young children. Our scripts are in English and Nandar, and we've been busy recording in Wingalina, Blackstone and Jemison. <laughs> also, regular broadcasts have been happening in Cosmo Newbury, in Warburton and Wingalina, and we hope to extend this to Kirakura and Junjunjara in the next two months. Also, training high school students has been happening in Blackstone and Jundjundjara and in Warburton. Um, and the, their programs will begin broadcasting in the second term. Their shows will be focusing on what has been happening in the school, in their school and in their community. And each student will have an opportunity to present their piece of information to their audience. And we just went to the Conga Korea Conference and did radio workshop. We just finished a radio report about the conference. The radio report is currently being broadcast on 5MPY and we hope for it to be broadcast on Karma Radio and ABC Local Radio. Hello everyone, James here. I'm the uh, new music coordinator here at NG Media. Um, I've just arrived back in town um, from a project I was working on out in the Barclay. Um, but I'm excited to be back. We've got a lot of exciting stuff on the on the go here in, in Wingalina. Irindu Band are just about to release their album, which we recorded last year. The artwork's finished and uh, we're just about to send it off for, for pressing. So look for that one very soon. Um, other news, Blackstone Band, they're about to uh, begin recording their new album. We're going to work with them a fair bit this year. Um, some exciting news for Blackstone Band have been announced as the uh, support act for the upcoming Soundtrax tour, um, which will mean a lot of uh, exciting opportunities for them, travelling around, touring and playing some really big shows around the lands. Um, also coming up we have the Blackstone Festival in May. There's going to be a concert there and a band night, all sorts of bands. Everyone's welcome to get up and, and play, so um, look out for that one, May 18th and 19th, I believe. Um, also, we've got a bit on the go this year with some collaborations. Um, we won't just be recording bands, although we will be putting out a, 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 a compilation of bands from and musicians from around the lands. That's one focus. Um, another is going to be also producing music and collaborating with radio and film, which is a very exciting aspect of what we're going to be doing because that's going to involve a lot of work with... Um, uh, soundtracks and the fellas here and the bands are going to be putting their talents towards creating soundtracks for radio and film, um, which would be a new development for them and, and something 
pretty exciting. Um, it might be a little bit challenging to begin with, but it's a pretty awesome skill set to develop. Um, and I'm really looking forward to some of the results. We've got some amazing musicians, some of the best musicians in the country, I think, are hiding out this way. And, um, and I'm out here to help uncover them and, and develop them as best we can. Also on the go this year, we're looking at a new compilation album for 2012 of bands and, and musicians from around the NG lands. Um, the last one released was Turkle 4, which is a very successful album. Uh, this new one might go in a, in a slightly new direction. We might look at a whole different um, mix of genres and musicians and styles. Um, I think we might incorporate a bit more, you know, can, some, some hip hop, some dance music if we can. Um, we can't not have desert reggae, we're going to be a fair bit of that um, cranking out and I can't wait to get out to the land and, and meet all the bands and, and uh, workshop some of those songs. So go check out uh, the Iridu Band new film clip, it's um, up now on our Vimeo page. Well worth checking out, it's an amazing film clip and a great song. Should be a hit. So my name is Michael Moritz and I am the film coordinator at Nandara Media. I've been here since October last year and uh, since then worked on a number of exciting projects. So today I'm just going to talk about what we've been doing recently. Um, first off, one of the uh, important projects that we're doing this year is Anu Detective. Uh, basically. It follows the story of uh, a man who, who uh, becomes, or is forced into becoming, this detective who travels all across the Nandara lands in a bid to return a sacred rock to Uluru. And now, this whole time, he is also followed by a spirit man who gives him guidance and, uh, and has another fun and, and interesting character that, that, that uh, goes on this journey with him as well. And now these two guys who are in the main roles are both from Cosmo Newberry and uh, they've been doing a really good job so far. Um, and recently we shot an episode for that down in both Cosmo Newberry and in Junjunjara. So it was a it was a long and crazy trip going over some, some back roads and going over the dunes to get to Chun Chun and uh, and Nigel Mervin, who plays uh, the Spirit Man, did, did a great job and, and all the people from, uh, from Chun Chun got involved in that and, uh, and it was really, it was a fun experience for us and uh, the footage all looks really good and, and we're excited to sort of get that out soon for people. Um, in another update on uh, what everyone is asking for, the Wannan Festival, uh, that is nearing completion which we are all very excited for. We'll be uh, producing some promos for that shortly and uh, a clip for uh, broadcast over ICTV and then we will have the finished DVDs um, for that soon. Also, we've uh, just finished up a really important health project in about otitis media, which is a middle ear infection that can cause a loss of hearing and hearing difficulties and is, uh, is really prevalent in uh, young kids and, and especially young Indigenous children. So we did a, a big film shoot in Warburton for, or we spent a week there uh, with the kids and, and with other staff and, and, and teachers and health professionals and that worked out really well. And, uh, and that should be uh, nearing completion next month. Um, and we had great support from people like Jasmine Lawson, in, uh, who works in radio and, and, and now in film in Warburton. Uh, we've also been working on a number of, uh, of ongoing projects and uh, one just finished up for the uh, Nundai Health Services Aboriginal Corporation and that was a, uh, a walkthrough of the Warburton Clinic and, um, and, and that's just finished and it is looking really good. Uh, also, we're currently filming uh, Noli's Jukapa, uh, which is a story not just about Noli but about the Nandara lands and, uh, and his journey and the people's journey, really. Um, 
sort of beginning in, in Warburton in Milanjara and uh, and uh, so we, we shot on the banks of the creek just outside Warburton and um, Nolly told us some really interesting stories about uh, the first white man and Mr Wade and and that stuff in uh, in uh, Warburton and uh, we did another shoot recently which uh, involved the chukupas of um, the two sisters and also some stories about uh, Nyan and uh, so that'll be an ongoing project that we'll keep on working on and uh, doing more shoots for and that should be really good um, and finally some future projects that will be coming up soon we'll have more on the detective and the big thing that I'll be talking about in future installments of this uh, will be the film festival which will be the first Nundara Lands film festival where I'll be inviting uh, filmmakers and people interested in, in storytelling all across the lands in different communities to make a film, short film, and enter it into our festival. And I'll be assisting people and, and travelling around and, and we'll be working on some stories uh, together, uh, but it will be predominantly their work and I'm really excited to see what, what they come up with. Uh, my name's Rungo Bailey. I've been here for about three weeks. Uh, I've come straight from New Zealand and right into the middle of the outback. And I'm running the training here and also the tele centre. So I've been um, basically learning about the culture, uh, getting to know people and basically setting up this computer centre the, the way I want it. Um, and I'm... It's a bit of a learning curve. Uh, the culture is very different from where I come from. So we've done a couple of trainings so far. One was uh, iTunes, uh, teaching people how to copy music from iTunes onto the iPod or into a folder. So basically uh, getting basic skills going about how to um, create a folder and name files and you know all the basics, which is really good. Um, because a lot of them don't know that. And with the kids, it's now school holidays. So I've been getting them in and they just want to play games and pretty much nothing else. So I'm trying to having to get them to learn about uh, web addresses for, they say if they see someone else playing another game, I'm getting them to look at the name of that game and get them to actually type it in on their computer so that's getting them to learn about what letters are, are what and and how the web kind of works so that's been going quite well and I've introduced them to 3d games which they haven't had before and they're all super excited which is cool so for the last week the first week of the school holidays we've been doing uh, just having fun with stop motion so getting the kids to uh, basically understand how stop motion works and get an idea of you know just taking a picture after picture and moving things so at the moment it's really basic just getting them to get a feel for how it works and what works and what doesn't this week I'll be doing maybe we're going to be quite busy so maybe two or three afternoon sessions doing more stop motion hopefully with um, things like sand and and more organic stuff rather than paper clips and blue tack yeah. The Google Earth exercise today has been basically um, getting people to start th thinking outside of just games on the web and also learning a different program and how to use different controls and uh, that was going alright, uh, actually I had too many people and so I couldn't give enough attention to everyone so I'm going to try and limit the amount of people per class and just so I can really get some focused attention. Personally, I hope that they, they're more curious about the rest of the world and get to um, learn how to work in three dimensions and, and think about that kind of stuff because at the moment it's all just uh, text-based stuff on the screen. And yeah, I think Google Earth is really good because it shows you the kind of where you are in the world and gives you a, a a different perspective. It, it kind of um, shows you, you know, how much more there is to the world. But I'm just really excited about being here. And um, the first two weeks were really kind of scary, and I didn't really know what was going on. And now I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm especially loving the, the heat because right now in New Zealand it's about uh, 10 degrees where I came from and raining. So here I can do my washing and hang it out at night, and it's dry. And 
rather than moldy. Yeah, so I'm loving it. It's good. Okay, soon the analog transmission will be shut off and we have to go for digital setup. As it stands, Warburton and Blackstone, we have applied for licenses. I think we show it will take about two to three months to get the license. Once the license are received, we'll put the whole thing up for tender and pick up somebody, some company, to do the digital changeover. Yeah, analog, we have only five channels now. Digital, we'll have at least about 10, I think, 10 or 12. So we have more channels to flip over. Hmm. The digital switch all has to be done by end of 2013. This year, music festival, annual festival will be in Warburton. I think it is in September, last week of September, I believe. It will coincide with Desert Dust Up, which means all the schools will be there. We'll have a good time towards that particular weekend, whichever the weekend we choose. Yep. Uh, college has to be repaired and repairs will take place somewhere in the middle of the year. Once the repairs are done, the telecenter will be refurbished and new computers put in and we'll have a, the facility will be upgraded in Wobra. Chinjinjara actually they have a new setup in uh, Chinjinjara for telecenter and radio studio. So when they changed over to the new setup, the radio studio was dismantled. So this trip we put back the radio studio and it is functioning now in Shinjinjara. We have to change a few transmitters and decoders and they didn't have one or two channels working because uh, decoders were faulty and transmitters were faulty so we had to replace them all and now they have all the channels and radios. So for me those things are incredibly exciting that involve all the communities and involve a wonderful team here at NG Media. Training, teaching, involving and creating projects that are as important to us as what we hope that it is to all of Ananu and the rest of Australia. The other side of what we're doing, which we're just at the beginning of doing, is creating a face to NG Media online. We're going to create a website which will involve all the communities once again being able to create content, go to that website and being able to view pictures, stories, uh, listen to music, go into studios and recreate music, being able to see all the many different things that we offer um, and see what really Nanandara land and Ananu people are, who they are, what their stories are and uh, where we are and basically that is an international exposure, not just around Australia, but we're talking over in Canada, or over in England, over in Europe. These people are going to see who we are and what we do, and I think we should be proud of it. One of the other uh, major jobs that we're doing across the lands is refurbishing and restructuring all our centres in each of the communities. These centres up to this point have had computers in them, and a radio broadcast station in them. A lot of those uh, computers have been destroyed. Uh, people have come in and destroyed the walls uh, and destroyed those centres. That's something that's very sad for me to see is happening and certainly takes away any opportunity for anyone else in those communities to be able to use them, access them, learn, train and, and enjoy uh, what is an incredible opportunity to be able to get online, communicate not just with other Ananu, but with the rest of the world. So what we're going to do is start again. We're going to roll out brand new computers that are very large, very fast, and are able to take lots of content, lots of programs, lots of training. We're going to put in those computers, half of them will have what we call Skype, which is cameras in the uh, screen, so that people are going to be able to not just hear other people online, but see them and we're going to be able to link up each of those communities through what we call the visual network system where people will be able to receive training all over the lands even though it's being done from one place. 
We're going to be able to link up each of those centres, so we'll be able to be part of the same meetings, we'll be able to share different stories on them, and we're going to be able to broadcast across those centres. So people will be able to see the different stories that we're creating on film and hear them across in radio. And so those centres, it's a big job. Um, and at the moment where we're at is fixing up Jamison, fixing up Warracuna, fixing up Wannan, fixing up Cosmo Newbury. Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to fix up Blackstone. So it's a big job, it's very expensive, and we've worked very hard to lobby the government to get the funds that we need to do it, and also to be able to get the talent, the skill, the designs to see that this is going to take us into the future. Not something which is going to just finish at the end of next year and be obsolete, but something in the next four years is still going to be current, operational, and very sexy. Yeah.